welcome back. So now we've learned about glassware, we've learned how to chill our wines, and we've learned a little bit about tasting wine, it's time to learn about opening wines. Let's start with a very simple favourite, the screw top. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. If I have to teach you how to do that, then well, my work here is done. Second of all, we have the very classic waiter's hand. So this is to open a wine with a cork. You want to take the foil off the top, which I will try and do very, very smoothly. You want to take the coily looking thing, get it right in the center and twist right down, right down to the bottom. You're at the bottom. You go for the first, the first little dip. Then you get to the second little dip. Great noise. Hey presto. There you have it, you've opened your bottle of wine. And last, but definitely not least, we have our fizzes. Possibly the most fun, but also definitely the most dangerous. Before you even start to open your fizz, make sure that you're not facing anyone that you really like, or even anyone that you don't really like, because corks have been known to cause very serious injury. It's really very simple. You take off the foil, it will then have this cage, as they call it, covering it. You want to try and keep the cage on as to avoid, you know, taking anyone's eyes out. Keep the cage on, twist the bottle, not twisting the cork. There you go. And there you have it, an open bottle of fizz. The only thing to bear in mind is that your red wines, you might want to leave them with the cork off to breathe, as they say. This just lets all the aromas and tannins slightly soften up a bit so that your wine will be even tastier. And a couple of ways not to open your wine. Number one, savouring. Number two, drink! Number three, a smelly old shoe. That is it for lesson four. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.